Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet and today we are still working on the 1972 Volkswagen Super Beetle. It is going to be part 15, fuse 11 on the ongoing series on how to rewire your classic 1972 Beetle, Super Beetle. And on fuse 11, which you see right there in front of you, is dealing, or this fuse is primarily dealing with the brake light switch. So we're gonna show you today how these wires go, how they work, and um, we'll just go from there. This should be a really quick video. There's only two wires, one in front of the fuse and one behind the fuse, so it should be pretty quick. So let's see what we're dealing with today and uh, let's go from there. So we're going to start off, let me get the little, our little uh, magnifying glass here. Going to put that right on the fuse. So, so to start out, it's a white fuse and a white fuse is 8 amps and all this information will be in the description below. So don't worry about having to memorize the stuff like usual. And for those of you who have not followed our series, we have gone through the whole entire fuse box. Um, we are on fuse 11 of 12, so if you have any questions or concerns or don't even know what even these fuses go to, just log back, watch the videos, and um, maybe learn a couple things. If not, comment below. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, and we'll all learn. So we have an 8 amp fuse, so we're going to go in front of the fuse to start off with. So we're going to follow this wire. Let's see where this is going to take us here. It's an all black wire, which will be exactly the same way on the car, because this is coming off the Bentley manual, service manual. So let's see what we got going on here. Now I can assure you, like I've said in all the other videos, that these wires are not this long. They don't wrap around the car three or four times. So let's see where this, this uh, wire is going to go. Okay, so right here where you see 1.5, that's the unit of measure in millimeters, which is a German measure. So when we switch that over to um, gauge, which we use here in the United States, uh, 1.5 is, is a 16 gauge wire. So, so far we know it's an all black wire. It's a 16 gauge and it's going to go into the 15 location. 15 location is off the uh, ignition switch. So I can assure you that this wire, if you remember in the other videos, there's a little tiny hole next to the fuse box and it's just gonna be a little small jumper wire. Maybe uh, it's gonna be, I would say less than, it's probably about six inches long. So it's going to come out of that hole and right into the front of fuse 11 here. So we're going to go back up. So like I said, this is, this is how these, these wire di diagrams are very deceiving for the novice or someone who just really doesn't know or understand what these wiring diagrams really mean. Like myself, I was very frustrated. I was, um, like I said, I was just really stressed out to even deal with this. But now, since I've got to deal with this um, this wiring, it really makes a lot of sense. I just, you know, took a really small situation and blew it way out of control. This is really, really simple, guys. And you'll see, once you start dealing with it, you'll gain a bunch of confidence also. So, we're going to go back to the fuse. So, literally, let me see if I can scroll down here realistically there's going to be a hole right here and that's where this wire would come out of the there's going to be a hole that goes from the inside of the trunk to the inside of the, the uh, cabin and this is where those five wires are going to come off the behind the ignition switch the ignition switch is where you put your key in there's going to be five wires so that five one of those with the all black wire is going to come there and it's going to hook up into the front of the fuse as we sh as I'm showing you right here. And literally, 
that is it for that particular wire. So we're going to go down below again. This is a 8 amp fuse because it's white. If it was red, it'd be a 16 amp, but let's not get confused here. So stay on track. So below here, we see another black wire coming off the back of the fuse box. And what I mean by back, this would be from the fuse box to the windshield, you know, meaning behind. So we're going to follow this wire. And if you look at the title, we know it's going to the brakes, the brake light switch. So this is a 1.5 millimeter, which is a 16 gauge wire in case we had to replace it or in case we're trying to identify our wire on the wiring harness. So you can tell this looks like a really pretty long wire. <clears throat> so I can assure you, uh, we're going to play the not stay in focus again today. So uh, we're going to follow this wire. So like I said, just from the top, the, uh, the uh, title, we know that it's going to go to the brake light switch. So this wire is going to literally go parallel right behind the fuse box into those big, if, if you go towards the driver's side, right below the master cylinder is going to be two really uh, uh, wiring harnesses like we discussed in all of our videos. We're going to find the one that has the, that deals with the headlights. And this wire right here is going to go down and it's going to come out. This right here will be right by the front tire, the spare tire, and it's going to go down into, there's going to be a hole between the spare tire, I mean, between the gas tank and the strut tower. And this is where we are roughly right here. So this is going to get, this black wire is going to run into here. Now we're not going to deal with these wires right here, but the wires are going to come down off the, or in, inside the hole under the car. And that's where they're going to connect themselves into the brake switches as we see right here. So this whole entire um, wire connector here is dealing with the brake switches as we see in front of us. But we're not going to be worried about the brake switch, the brake light switches today. We're only concerned about this one particular wire. Sorry about the camera not focusing here, but that's where this that's where this three wire connector is going to lead to. You'll see it on the on car tomorrow, or maybe tomorrow's video. But that's where this wires are leading to. Again, so we're going to back, we're going to trace back, make sure that we're not missing nothing. Again, this wire right here would be starting to come out of the, uh, on the side by the master cylinder. It's going to come up. This is, if you know, all these wires right here are going to be in that big chunk of wires. So, like I said, we're just dealing with the, the one outside here. because that's what this particular fuse is dealing with. It's just dealing with only the brake light switches and this is how the brake light switch gets um, wired into the fuse. Again, it's a 1.5 millimeter, which is a 16 gauge wire. In case you did have to replace it for, you know, whatever reason, cuts in the wire or, um, you know, just whatever. So we're going to scroll back up. Let's see if we can get this. A little bit more in the middle here. And there we are again, right there in the beginning of fuse 11. So again, two wires, real simple. The first wire is going to the ignition switch and the bottom wire is going to the um, brake light switches. So as always guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment or don't. And as always guys, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our great nation, the United States. And we'll catch you on the next video. Take care, guys, and have a good day.